Hi everyone, I'm Shimon Lipchak, a software engineer at Callstack. Welcome to React Native Optimization Shorts, a video series where we take Callstack Ultimate Guide to React Native Optimization from page to stage. I'm here to show you some quick and simple React Native Optimization techniques in practice. In this episode, I will ask a question. Is Flashlist always your default solution? Let's get started. This causes a lot of well-known optimization problems when it comes to React Native. Flashing screen, not smooth scrolling experience, especially on low-end devices. We've all been there. Fortunately, some time ago, Shopify introduced a new tool, Flashlist, which changed the game list in React Native. The performance with it is something amazing. Let's take a look at Flashlist and how we can actually create a list with it. So let's jump to the Twitter example. And this is like the, the view with, with just tweets. And let's see what props we need to add to Flashlist component to, to make it work. Yeah, render item, refreshing, on refresh. It looks very similar. It's actually the same names as with Flatlist. Flashlist is designed as a drop-in replacement for uh, Flatlist. So right now, I would like to profile the app and see actual performance of Flashlist. To do that, I need to open Xcode to the profiler. And if you're not familiar with native profiling, don't worry, just open our guide and we've described how to do it properly. As you can see here on the right, I have running app and let's open Twitter timeline example. And maybe let's scroll through the hundreds of items, hundreds of tweets that we have here. As you can see here, our app is running at 60 FPS. There's thousands of views that are created, but our animations, our app is running smoothly. Maybe this is not the hardest example to run on. And as you can see on the chart on the left, Flashlist is running smoothly. Yeah, that's great. But how did they actually achieve this? Flashlist under the hood is using the concept of recycling views. It only creates and renders a limited numbers of views that are visible on the screen and to reuse them as the user scrolls through the list. This reduces memory usage and improves the whole app performance. The performance key behind recycle list view is that it needs to know the height of items in the list. Of course, it doesn't mean that all the items needs to have the same dimensions. Flashlist also uses the concept of cell recycling to reuse views that are no longer visible and to render items instead of creating new views objects. The creation of object is costly and comes with memory overhead. It means that as you scroll through the list, the memory footprint keeps going on. Flashlist was designed to be a drop-in replacement for Flatlist. So all we need to do is to install a Shopify Flashlist package and maybe change a few props or add its specific optimizing ones. And we are done. As a result, we have drastically improved the performance of our views, as you've seen in the example I've presented. Of course, Flashlist is not a replacement for everything, so I really encourage you to read more about its pros and cons in documentation and in our guide. For sure, the Shopify team is working on improving Flashlist, but as for now, there's a few things missing, like not the best universal support for different platforms, and as always, you need to take your case into consideration. And yeah, that's it for the final episode of React Native Optimization Shorts. I hope you enjoyed this series and that you find our guide helpful. See you in the comments, on social media, or in real life.